Okay, this is a tutorial on how to get your Axiom controller uh, to work with Ableton Live. And uh, I'll also show you like three basic tips, how to get the transport controls to work, how to get the pads to work with the impulse drum sampler, and how to adjust the um, acceleration curves on the endless encoders. Okay, um, so the first thing you want to do is go to the Ableton website, and you want to go to Downloads, and there is actually a live pack, okay, um, that you can download that um, gives you um, a set of lessons um, on how to set this Axiom up with Live. Okay, so you're going to click on that, download it, and install it, okay, in Ableton Live, and then that will show up in the lessons portion of the software. If you don't know how to access that, you go to um, View, click on Lessons, and then this pane will pop up, and um, you can see here that at the bottom of the lesson menu, this Axiom lesson will now become available okay you click on that that gives you step by step you know basically a, a lot of the capabilities that this controller can do in live that'll walk you through it but here's just a kind of a quick overview of some of the basic you know requested things okay so the first thing you want to do is get your um, controller set up to communicate with live okay and what you do is go to the preferences pane and the MIDI sync tab you're going to have a group of drop down boxes here. So, what you're going to do is click on one, and depending on which axiom you have, the 25, 49, or 61, you're going to select it. I have a 49, so I'll select it. Then you're going to select an import, input and output port, okay? And then you're going to click dump. And what dump is going to do is send those settings to your device, and it will overwrite um, them. So, uh, just click OK. And then down here, um, where it says the Axiom inputs and outputs, set the track and the remotes to on. I do that for um, the inputs and the outputs. And then you can exit that preference pane. All right. What that will do is that gets your um, controller communicating with Live now. So we want to get the transport controls to work first. Um, Live uses three presets on the Axiom, 17, 18, and 19. Okay. Uh, let's switch it to program 18 for now. So you're going to recall program 18 on your controller. Um, hopefully you know how to do that. If not, you know, check the manual. But you want to get um, pr uh, program 18 called up. All right. And when you do that, pressing on the play button on your Axiom will start the transport. Stop button works, the record button works. Okay, so now your transport controls work. Okay, the next thing you want to do um, is get the pads to work with impulse. Preset 18 is set up to send the right um, messages to the um, impulse sampler, so when you hit the pad, it will trigger the sample. Okay, so um, you'll record enable the impulse track right here, and then by hitting the pads, they now work. Okay, and that gets your pads working. Um, again, that's preset 18 is set up to communicate with um, the impulse sampler. And then the third, you know, frequently asked question is how to get the um, endless encoders to respond a little bit better. Um, I have mine set up to the defaults. And uh, what I'll do is I'm going to MIDI map one of these pans. Okay, so um, you just hit the MIDI map button click on the control you want to control and then move a button on the Axiom. Okay, I'm using one of the encoders. And as you can see, I kind of have to crank this thing a whole bunch of times to get it to move. All right, and that's annoying. So there's a way to fix that. And it kind of depends on which um, keyboard you're using. I'll demonstrate the 49 first because that's what I'm working with. Okay, so on the 49 you have this um, panel up here. All right, you want to focus on these two buttons press together, mute and program, and as you can see, it will allow you to adjust the acceleration curve. Okay, pressing those two together, the display right here is going to show um, ENC and then one, two, and three. And what you want to do is set it up for curve three, and that makes the endless encoders move faster as you turn them. It'll adjust the parameters, you know, a little bit quicker. So I've done that on the um, on my machine now, and as you'll see on the software, this now moves much better without me having to crank it as many times. Okay, on the Axiom 25, it's a little bit different. 
um, you're going to hit the advanced button first right here and then you have to look here on to all these key um, settings above the actual keys themselves this is the one you want where it says curve okay you're going to hit that key a few times until ENC comes up up here and then their selection of one two and three and then just hit the plus and minus button right here to number three and then your encoders will respond a lot faster in the software and it won't you don't have to crank it as much so those are three basic tips um, to get the axiom um, working with live if you go back into that lessons file that'll give you all the background you need and what this um, controller can do in the software